I'm uh, in this hotel in yeah. one of the cities in China right now. And uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here with you. I just want to let you know I'm here with you yes. at this moment. Let's so go. Good. So good to talk to you, man. This drive you home, just this whole rollout from the song to the video. It's just really, really something special to, to listen to and to watch. So just congrats on the whole project. Thank you. And I hope you like it too, personally. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm releasing stuff, preparing my album, which is going to drop like November, mid November. And then um, just putting every pieces together every day, uh, creating the music, uh, coming up with the treatments, the visuals, the, uh, everything around it, the assets uh the theme you know the taste of it so yeah busy 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 but it's good efficient staying trying to stay efficient staying fresh every day and i hope you're safe too michael on your end and yes. where are you right now which city we are in philadelphia philadelphia pennsylvania oh my god and how is it over there at this currently it's interesting we're kind of like in a, in a situation where we're we don't know if we're going to be closed up again you know what i mean like we're in that weird limbo stage where we thought things were kind of progressing and like things are going to open up and concerts and stuff like that but starting to are feel a little vaccinated? what's that are you vaccinated i am i am yes get vaccinated let's go man Ooh, that's that's the too. way me too i i ran to get vaccinated are you kidding me i i couldn't wait I would do it every month if i could so yeah get vaccinated because we want concerts we want to get back to normal fully um how was it? And, and, yeah, man. After, after you had it, were, were, were there any symptoms? I didn't have any symptoms. I actually did not have any. I was a little bit tired, but that was about it. But a little I bit a dizzy and a, and a newborn. So maybe that was that. I, I don't know. A little, a little bit dizzy. Yeah. I was a little bit dizzy, but not, not really dizzy, but I was like, oh, kind of sleepy too. Right? Yeah. But nothing crazy. Like it's yeah. totally worth it uh, to be safe and, Very and worth uh, like it. I said, get back to normal life yes absolutely i can't wait until the you know the pandemic to, to to calm down a little bit so we can get back you know on the road to travel you know everywhere we want have concerts have festivals perform tour oh i can't wait I, I, how yeah. long do you think it's when do you think we're we're gonna back be back in that zone Oof, man i thought it'd be by now uh to be honest with you but hoping fully maybe this time next year oh man i know i know it's painful to say but the thing is but the thing is not COVID 19 anymore it's it's some it's it's what's it called what's a new thing called again it's a delta like all, all the variants and stuff like that like yeah man like it's has evolved into some other creature right like right some other exactly and so the unvaccinated the belief is that the un unvaccinated are the ones you know spreading these variants and you know prolonging this pandemic so get right. vaccinated 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 it's crazy but, but is there another vaccine uh, like vaccine based off of delta is there is there no is there none what i don't because i think I think so i, I just feel I like that, things are moving so rapidly it's like science is trying to catch up with i mean this is from what I'm reading and watching. I mean, I don't know, but it, it seems like uh, science trying to catch up with the variants that are are morphing from, you know. Because from... I think the vaccines that we got was for COVID, you know, Correct. for COVID. Right. But, but now like Delta is in the game, like what is going on? Like what? I read that getting... Pfizer is 88% effective for the Delta variant. That's what I read. 85%? 88% if you had the Pfizer. I'm, I'm Pfizer gag. I'm not sure what you got. 88 yeah oh man what is going I know. on it's crazy so how do you how do you keep yourself together you know you're, you're worried about the world obviously like we all are you're, you're putting together some incredible music and, and videos how do you how do you keep it all together you you personally 
Well, first of all, I just hope everyone that's just to, to freaking stay safe. That's the most important out of like more than any anything else in the world. Sure. And then if you're safe, and then comes entertainment. And I'm me as an artist, I do my best to try to to know, you know, entertain people, you know, my audience, everyone else that come across my stuff to be entertained and feel at least, you know, happy and entertained with my music, with the with stuff that I put out, you know being interacting interacting with them talk communicating with them like human beings you know I always like to talk with my fans uh I'm uh, I'm starting to be more you know um um active on streams on uh on Instagram on Twitter you know on even on Weibo or like you know on 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 TikTok all these social platforms to to um, to connect with them uh, i don't the, the, the thing about me and my fans is i don't always want to show them the side oh me on on stage oh me in front of uh, in the music video me on this in concerts you know I'm, I'm a human being too i have i have the low sides the negative side depressed anxiety you know insecureness everything you know i'm sure they do too so you know when if i can cheer them up at the same time you know we cheer each other up and then be 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 best friends like that's the relationship i have with my fans and and your transparency obviously goes a long way with team wang i mean i just put a tweet out saying like hey like i'm, I'm gonna talk to jack and and, and like just twitter just freaked out with with questions for you do you mind if i share some some questions no, from your fans? I, this is the last thing is the last thing I do is me minding. <laughs> okay, bring it on right now. Because Team Wang is passionate. They're incredible. So I got, I got a few tweets here. Um, you know, and a lot of them are just so kind. They just want to make sure that, that, that you're good with your busy schedule and that, you know, you're just together. Like a lot of people just didn't have any questions. They just want to make sure that you're good. And it's you're good. I want to make sure that they're good and stay yeah. safe. And 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 yeah, come on. Like everything else comes second. First, exactly. Safe, safe be healthy. Live. Be Your alive. Your body and mind come first. Right. Be healthy. Um, a good question here. What have you learned during the pandemic, whether it be like a new hobby or maybe something like self-discovery about yourself, maybe when it comes to music? What, what, did, you, what did you get into? Definitely during the quarantine back last year i already did two twice three times quarantine in my life and mm -hmm. come on now like it's it's a time i've been working for the past seven eight years non-stop and quarantine was actually the first moment that i i was like the train was stopped for a while you know so it made me think a lot even and one of it one of the most important like one of the big main thing that i realized is oh like time really flies time flies i can see that you know what's the standard of happiness anymore like what is it like and i need to spend more time with my parents and you know because i feel like in this society even in this industry or in any industry when you're in your youth you just run, run, run. You don't see what's behind you. You don't even have the time to turn around, right? But when you turn turn back a little, a little, one time, you see your parents there, and 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 and, and time really feels like flying, literally. Mm. I felt like eight. I've been I've been living in Korea for ten years. You know, I literally felt literally literally felt ten years. It felt like yesterday. Mm. But 10 years pass. Like my parents are not like 10 years ago. And oh no, like what before everything? I'm already late, but at least, you know, quarantine made me think about that, you know, things like that. So, so I'm getting myself back together. Like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm also like thinking that I, there's a, there's need for me to put some, to care about my life too, mm. not just like my career, of course, my life, but life, life, lifestyle. Absolutely. My family, my best friends, like what is like my relatives, you know? So yeah, it just- That's huge. That's a huge breakthrough. I mean, just to prioritize your life and um, it's, it's just so important and so healthy 
for just and, sometimes, and, and you know sometimes it's like your 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 parents they they won't it's not something that they say it's just some actions that they do sometimes makes you realize that oh like they're not like before like they're aging in mm. some way you know and just kind of feel bad but not in a way that not bad it's just that you want to start oh i need to protect my parents i i, I need to have the responsibility to to take care of them right and, you know? and to value the the time that you have right because sometimes when you're really focused on your work you you just it's not in your channel you know sometimes you got you got your blinders on man like you got your blinders on so like you said like when when time froze for a bit you got to look around and 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 just figure out what what truly matters outside of obviously your your career and stuff like that i think that's, i think that's incredible i think a lot of people feel the same way right. i mean myself included I, I had a baby during the pandemic so mm -hmm. like have, having a baby and, and also getting married so like i was like oh i'm doing all the life events and you must be worried so much you newborn baby the immune system is weak right i know a new newborn child right how you got to pr protect it and you you Every time you can come back from going outside, oh, sh I need to wash my hands. I need mm -hmm. to. Stay, I don't. I don't touch the baby. I don't know what's on me, right? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, you know it. It's, you know it. it's I, wild. Oh my god, it's wild, man. This this past year and a half has made you think about everything. So what you just said, I totally feel you on many levels. Um, you know, That's we got crazy. some questions here. I want, to, I want to see how you stay fit and healthy and a lot of people want to know your skincare regimen they want to know how you have a glowing skin apparently i don't have glowing skin i, I don't have my makeup on right now I, <laughs> I have a lot of like facial hair and uh me i used to have really bad skin and mm. i think a lot of it has to do with what you eat you know mm. are you exercising are you sweating are you detoxing right uh, sweating it out are you taking your greens like your supplements right and how do you wash your face like what what's the order what's the order when you when you're having a shower do you for me i wash my face at last because i believe that you know the shampoo and all these like ingredients inside the chemicals it will irritate your facial like like your your skin you know so i wash my i wash my face at last after mm. a shower and uh yeah what you put on your face you know like i always put on i always do packs like facial mask mask packs and I keep my face, you know, moisturized uh, every uh, 24 seven, that's it. And I put on body lotion, you know, you need that or else, you know, once you hit, once you hit like 40, 50, come on, man, you're, you're, you're it's going to be a scrambled newspaper, your skin. It, <laughs> come, on, come on, you know it, you know it, you don't want to be looking like that. You want to look moisturized. You don't want your, your skin to, to feel like the desert, you know, so <laughs> yeah. put it on, put it on. I'm trying to age like Paul Rudd, you know, Paul Rudd's like 54 or something like that. And he looks younger than he did like back in the day in Clueless. Like it's crazy. That's amazing. my, that's, that's my goal. That's my end game. Um, you look a lot of I didn't know. I didn't wait. Well, let me guess. How old are you? Are you like, okay, yeah, guess. you're in my, my age, I would guess. I'll take it. Cause you're younger than me. I am. I'm, I'm 34. Oh, wait, three, four, seven um what this freaking math thing 87 <laughs> what's that 87 87 yep that's a year younger than my real brother but i mean so you i look, look younger like, than you like i look younger so i guess i'm doing my my skincare right yes you're I, I thought you were my age the best thing i've heard so far today hey, i'll tell you what do you what do you put after you shave let me ask you this. What do you put after you shave? Do you just put like a, like a, what do you like aftershave or do I you just put, put like on some, some moisturizer? That's it. Some, some SPF, oh, yeah. some SPF. After you shave, you just put it on. Yep. I just put it on. Oh. That roll. Yeah. Let me share yeah. my, my, my thing after I shave, I have a lot of facial hair. I just shaved like four hours ago. That's why it, it's not that heavy, mm. but I, two days without shaving, I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine. So after I shave, I put aloe, you know, aloe, Ooh. like aloe. And I put my aloe in my fridge. So I, I just put it on and wait 10 minutes and then I put moisturizer. I do that for, for sunburns. That's like the, that's the trick right there. That's like, 
That's a, that's a life hack right there. Aloe in the fridge. Aloe in the um, fridge. I got a lot of questions on Twitter about the Olympics. I know that in your past life, you you uh, did fencing, right? Yes, sir. That's incredible. So uh, what was it like to be such a big part of the games uh, that just put, took place? Oh, me as an audience watching it? Yeah. I mean, well, I, was, my- I saw you in like in the, some promo videos too, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And... The thing is, is, as an audience watching, you know, Olympics has like a, a, a different feeling to me. You know, it's like, it's my battlefield sometime, but it's like a friendly battlefield, like, like a game field mm. for me. And watching the Olympics, I still, I still, get a, I still didn't get a chance to uh, uh, watch the actual game for my friends because they're all my friends. Mm. And a majority of them, they're my friends. Uh, maybe except for like the new kid like the new 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 kids you know I, maybe i don't know but majority of they're on my like like old, old old friend and um uh yeah it's awkward watching them compete but in a good way because like oh he's my friend him is versing him okay that makes me curious how did it go i couldn't watch it i couldn't find a clip it's not on youtube is it it is or not i don't know and but I saw highlights, so I have this weird feeling like it's weird because I'm not there, but at the same time, I I I'm curious about it. Like I'm I'm happy to see them there, you know, winning medals, and I, I love it. I, yeah, so it's like a very um, awkward feeling that I have, and every time you know when 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 they win a medal, like I I just feel like crying more than then. You know, I don't know nah. why, but I just have this feeling. I love that. Love it. Well, man, hey, so good to talk to you. Thanks to Team Wang for all the questions on Twitter. Drive You Home, man. It's a special song. I love the 80s feel to it. And the video, too. I wish I could talk more about the video uh, because that just blew my mind how it worked. Uh, like, Did you come up with the concept? Was it a team effort? I always come up with my treatment uh, mm. for my music videos. Uh, majority of it, but there are some that I co-produce with uh, different uh, directors, but they're a fire. I get inspired by them, too. But man, really nice talking to you. And I hope you really like the song, Drive You Home. And I know that, you know, you, you had your new baby, you got married and congrats on your marriage. Thank you. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, have, it's just nothing can go more crazy than what you faced, you know, like, <laughs> you know, having the new life and then pandemic, you know, come on. Like, so I think you're a great, you're, 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 you're not, it's not easy and you buried through it and, I wish you nothing but the best, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so right. much. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Drive you home. Keep on requesting it here on 96.5 TDY in Philadelphia. And uh, all the best, man. Hopefully next time around, we can do the interview in person, right? Yeah. Life is back definitely. to normal. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it's a son. It's a son, right? Girl. It's baby it's girl, a, Kira. Baby girl. Baby girl. You definitely need to let her know when she's older that how much you've been through during the pandemic when you first had her she needs to right? appreciate that it's like i got stories to tell you just you wait <laughs> and, 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 yeah yeah during during like puberty and she's like no you're not the best dad or whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, you're like you know what the hell i did during pandemic <laughs> like you, you tell her that <laughs> well you have no idea yeah you no idea yeah i mean yeah all the best man you, you too man i'll talk to you soon all right All right, man. Peace.